the gnome. All right, what's up everybody? Professor Dino here. I got a team to show you guys today, but only reason I call it a sad team is because it's pretty standard. Uh, a lot of these Pokemon are really popular in the meta right now, such as GMAX Colossal, Dragapult, Rillaboom, Regilek, Clefairy, and Celesteel. I dare say they're all um, some of the most popular picks right now in the meta. Um, but I just really, really liked seeing these uh, Steam Engine teams work. Uh, so I went ahead and I made one myself. Uh, let's see what we're working with here. Um, so we put a weakness policy, Steam Engine, Colossal G Max on the team. That's really trying to be our main attacker. Um, we gave it Heat Wave, Scald, and Ancient Power, and then a Protect um, for when things get kind of dicey. Or to wait out some other G Maxes. Um, but. The build is pretty standard. Uh, we have a little bit more in speed because I want the four times boost to be pretty strong. Uh, and then we have maxed out special attack in the boost in it. Uh, we also have our wall Celesteela that we've used before with the uh, max and boosted defense and then HP and special attack. It's a standard build. Uh, substitute Leech Seed, Giga Drain, Protect, and Leftovers. So it's really good at walling out uh, certain types. Electro types do a lot of damage though, so we're trying to look out for that. Uh, we have an Eevee like Clefairy with Friend Guard to try and lessen the damage to our teammates, as well as Follow Me, Aromatherapy, Thunder Wave, and Icy Wind. Really just a uh, an all-around way better support. Uh, if anyone told me that Eevee like Clefairy was going to be a, a popular support in VGC 2021, uh, I would not have believed you. Regieleki, again, uh, kind of a, a split support attacker. It does have the light clay with reflect and light screen, but Electro Web and Thunderbolt are also very good for lowering speed. And then also for those attackers that uh, Colossal runs into trouble with. So we have him on the team and uh, he does a pretty good job from the practice matches we've had. Then to round it off, we have a Rillaboom, standard sweeper build, Grassy Seed, Grassy Surge, Grassy Glide. Uh, acrobatics, Darkest Larry, and a Fake Out. And then uh, our last but not least, we have uh, the Surf. Basically, the guy who starts the Steam Engine uh, with a Choice Scarf and Clear Body and then Physical Attack, Max, and Max Speed. So I've ran a couple of matches before with this team, uh, and it seems to be doing okay so far. So let's just get back into it. All right, interesting team here. A Gothitelle and a Snorlax. You don't see those two very often, but... Hopefully, we will be able to do something good against them. We're going to bring... I think we bring Reggie, Alecki, and Rillaboom in the back with us. Another good thing about Dragapult is that Dragapult can't get faked out. Um, so, we will almost always be able to get off... Um, the start of the steam engine uh but it's usually just when vocalith gets hit by or colossal i always call it vocalith for some reason thinking about the gmax move uh, it normally just comes down to him getting hit by an attack that we don't need him to get smacked by so All right, so the surf went off, didn't do too much to everybody. Got us that boost that we wanted. And then Gothitelle is going to set up the trick room. So now it just, Snorlax comes out, okay. We're gonna Vocalith Gothitelle again, and then I actually want to switch into Regieleki. The ally switch, uh, I don't know how well that paid off. We'll see if they go for it again, but we're going to Electro Web just in case. Regieleki's gonna go last here, I believe. I think it'll go Snorlax, Gothitelle, Colossal, Regieleki. G-Mag Snorlax too. Luckily we aimed in the right spot. Oh, and the forfeit. You love to see that one. All right. Urshifu, Thunderous, Grimstone, Regieleki. 
I think we start Reggie Alecki and Clefairy, and then I think we bring Colossal and Dragapult in the back. Let's try that this time and see how that works out. We're probably going to see a double fake out here, but I'm going to try and set up protect, or I'm going to try and set up reflect just in case. And then I'm for sure going to go for the Icy Wind. Luckily, we taunted. I think they may stay in, so we're going to go for Electro Web. We actually got rid of our uh, Choice Scarf thanks to the um, Grimmsnarl. So that's one of the brighter things that's happened here. Gave it back to us. But luckily we went with Dragon Darts. We honestly may have a... Uh, A little bit of a more free game than we thought. Thunderous did go for the G-Max and the Max Guard. I don't know what item we just got. We just got full incense. I think that slows us down or it makes us move last. Also lived, thank goodness. Spear break did do some damage. I think what we do here is go for Dragon Darts on Aleki. I think we protect with Colossal. I believe the full incense is making us go last. Alright, we have almost gotten rid of the last Grim Snarl. And they forfeit, so we actually won that one. Um, uh, I think I think that was the right way to approach it. I think bringing in Colossal and Dragapult in the back end was a little bit better. Um, so I think we're going to try that again. Alright, I've seen this team. <laughs> I mean, we've seen this team in another video. So I think what we do here is we go Reggie Alecki. We go, I think we go Regieleki and Rillaboom. And then we go Dragapult and Colossal in the back. Started with Moltres and Comfy. So what we're going to do is Electro Web and Fake Out. I don't know who we fake out though. I think we go for Comfy. We really just have to hope Raichu isn't about to come out and Volt Absorb this. Raichu did come out, and so did Tabu Fini.
we're gonna light screen there just because of that and then we're gonna grassy glide tapu fini i think raichu has fake out so oh they forfeit again um i don't know why they went with the forfeit there but we take those all right again we got another raichu fini and metagross um I think again we're gonna start Regieleki and Rillaboom and then Colossal and Dragapult that should be I think that should be pretty good Regieleki won't be able to do any damage against Lando and Raichu and Raichu comes out I think what we'll do is Electro Web and fake out the Raichu. Just depends on who gets outsped here. Looks like we got outsped. I think we'll put up a light screen here. And then I'm just going to try and get rid of the Tapu Fini. We didn't get paralyzed off the nuzzle. Uh, I think because of Misty Terrain. I think we can actually get rid of the Tapu Fini this turn. Did not think that we would be the, uh, the faster two Pokemon on the field, but here we are. We're just going to go for Electro Web again and Grassy Glide. Entei is probably going to be faster or carry extreme speed. Uh, we almost took care of Raichu, but we did get hit by the Sacred Fire. I think we're going to go for Reflect here. And then we're going to start the surf. Took care of Raichu, did some damage to Entei. Light screen has one turn left, so. I think light, I can't tell if light screen um, protects us from when like Dragapult uses Surf or not. But at least we know Dragapult's gonna move first and then I would assume Colossal is going to be pretty close behind. Their Dynamax has already come out in the Tapu Fini. Uh, so hopefully we are going to be pretty strong here. Um, and I think Tapu Fini's water moves and Metagross's ground moves would be the, the, the strongest counters to us right now um, but I think we have a good chance here it really just depends on what's coming out Intei got hit we're gonna get steam engine and weakness policy set up probably gonna go next there we go Tapu Fini's gonna come out um, I think we need to kill Tapu Fini here I think killing Tapu Fini is, is most important right now it sucks that we're still doing damage to Colossal, um, but it's kind of just the way it has to go right now. And they forfeit again. So uh, I think that was a pretty good string there uh, right now. I think, I really just think that the biggest thing about this team, I think saving Colossal and Dragapult in the back is actually one of the best things you can do. Uh, even though they're the focal point of the team, I, I really think situating them as the closers does a lot more uh, for the general composition and for the success of the team than you would expect. Uh, leading with these two actually ended up in more losses than wins so far, um, but I, I didn't realize you know, just how important that uh, team order could be. 
but it, it really shines through with uh, Colossal and Dragapult here just how much attention you need to pay yeah just how much attention you need to pay to what order you send everybody in all right another Entei Metagross team here um I think it's safe to lead with Regieleki and honestly think we we lead Regieleki and Celesteela here since there's not an electric type Entei could do some damage to us but we'll just have to see really Uh, this is actually a pretty good start for Celesteela. Uh, I think we go for Electro Web here, and then I think we, I think we protect with Celesteela. Let's just see what they they go for here. Ice Beam on Regieleki. That actually did some um, some pretty good damage. I think we go for Leech Seed on Porygon first. Ooh, it went for Taunt on us. So it probably knows, um... Probably knows our build. This is what I think we're gonna do here. I think we protect. I think we switch out Celesteela and let Dragapult take a hit. I don't think it would try an Ice Beam Celesteela, um, but that is to be determined. I also don't think Porygon would Dynamax here, but I could be wrong. All right, so let's go ahead and go for Max Vocalith on Porygon and go for the Surf. Always does a little bit more damage than, you know, you'd like it to. Uh, but that speed boost should be pretty good. Porygon 2 is bulky, bulky, bulky. Uh, I think we're going to go for Max Flare. It also doesn't help that we have a Reflect and a Light Screen up. Uh, but just in case we get hit again i think we double up on porygon yeah we did get hit with the taunt again but luckily we took out porygon too and we're gonna get the giga drain off i believe this is gonna be our last turn of uh gmax colossal so the real question here is whether we go for oh i think we have to go for um darmanitan here I really think we do. I, I think I think that's what we have to do. Oh, okay. We lived. We lived the uh, the attack, and we took out Darmanid's hand with us, and we definitely just got Grimmsnarl. Looks like we're in a two v one here. Um, go for the Heat Wave and the Giga Drain. Oh no, the Dynamax comes out. Oh, that did uh, a lot more damage than I thought. But I think G-Max Vocalith plus Giga Drain should do the trick here. And yeah, it was just enough. So that's it, guys. Really, the uh, I think the best part about this team is that we we situate uh, our best two to the back. Uh, and I think that the being able to have a diverse uh, first two with Aleki, Clefairy, uh, Celesteela, and Rillaboom is also really important. Um, I think if you get the screens up with Regieleki, it does good. I think if you do damage with Regieleki, it does good. If you lower speed with Clefairy, uh, or if you end up just going for some damage with Rillaboom, then I think all those are really good choices. And then once you let that Colossal G-Max and that Dragapult come in and boost the Steam Engine, uh, it really just all falls into place. So I hope you guys will consider checking out this team. As always, I'm going to pokey paste the link in the description below. Sorry, I just smacked my mic. Uh, but what would you guys change about the team? Uh, I'd love to know. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear about how you guys do with it. Uh, but again, don't forget, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and go check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dino, where I just get into fun antics like this live. And uh, we have a great chat and a great time, so I think you guys would really enjoy it. But thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.